Hey, 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 y'all. So today we are making beef short ribs and cheesy grits. I already have them washed and cleaned in the bowl. These are our seasons. We're going to use a tablespoon of each. And then we're going to use about a cup of Worcester sauce. Um, so this is all the um, seasonings put into a bowl. And I used about uh, a half a cup for right now of the Worcester sauce. I don't know if I'm saying that right, y'all. I can't say it. So I'm mixing it in, just making sure I blend it all together. I like to massage my meat when I season it. And I have some olive oil that's already warm. And I'm just going to place my short ribs in the pot um, one by one because we want to pan and sear them. The meat tastes better when you pan and sear it. Touch, trust me, guys. And this is how they look once I put them in. So I did leave them for about six minutes on the first side and now we are going to flip them. So about six minutes each side. And this is how they look once I flip them. All right, so another six minutes has passed. I'm gonna add in two cups of water. And then now I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of meat tenderizer. Be careful with your meat tenderizer, it can be salty. So once it cooked for um, halfway through, I then went in and added my red onions and about a tablespoon of sesame oil um, um, and the rest of your half a cup of Worcester sauce. I added a teaspoon of minced garlic. I chopped up some onions and I seasoned them with complete seasoning. And in a skillet, I'm heating some grease. And in the meantime, I'm pouring my peppers in towards the end because we don't want them to be mush. I am frying up some flour so that we can make homemade gravy. Now I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of soy sauce. And we're gonna stir that together and just fry until it becomes the color that you like. This is the color that I was comfortable with. And then I just let it cook for a little longer so that it got, just got a little bit darker. I put that in a cup and then I added it to my gravy. You're gonna have to add water. It will evaporate down. So as it's cooking, add water or you can add brief broth. I added three bay leaves and then I covered it and let it cook for about 20 more minutes on low. So now we're gonna make our cheesy grits. I'm gonna use chicken broth instead of water or milk. Once my chicken broth comes to a boil, I'm going to add in my old fashioned grits. Use a whisk and stir your grits as you add them in to prevent clumps. And then I'm going to add in some butter, some salt, and some pepper. My grits have been cooking for a while, so now I'm gonna add in some sharp cheddar cheese and mix it in. You wanna cook your grits for a total of about 12 minutes or so. You don't want them clunky. Add in about a teaspoon of sugar. So I have my grits plated in a bowl. I added my short ribs, and now I'm just putting gravy on top, y'all. And ooh, ooh, ooh. Boom, there it go.